it's Sunday morning, uh, August the 5th, and it's Anne here at Life LDC in Vail, Canada. And today I'd like to share with you a preview. No, I guess not a preview. My review, my thoughts on Rowan's Autumn Winter 2018-19 design collection. I'm going to start off with Magazine 64 because it's Rowan's 40th anniversary. This magazine uh, celebrates 40 years with a ruby uh, design collection. All the designs are done in red. And it also introduces, for the very, very first time, Rowan has never done this before, a brand new yarn in the magazine. They've, they've kicked it off with a bang. 20 new shades, 17 designs by Lisa Richardson, varying uh, levels of complexity all with uh, little details that you might not notice just from a quick glance of photographs that you might have seen either on Facebook or Instagram or Ravelry. So what I'd like to do today is I'll start off with the uh, Rowan magazine and uh, talk about the alpaca classic yarn that's in it and then uh, possibly in a either one or two additional videos talk to you about the other uh, collections, the other, other design collections that Rowan have put out for this season. Uh, I've got copies of most of them here and I will do the same thing. I'll do a little review on all of them, the ones that I, that I have on hand, and uh, introduce you to new, the new and exciting, introduce you to the new and exciting autumn winter Rowan design collections. This one was buried away because I've already started a project of it. So without any more procrastination here, let's look at Magazine 64. I'm going to change to a desktop view so that I can talk to you uh, about all the designs while showing you the magazine and I also will insert pictures where maybe um, uh, a close-up needs to be highlighted for you. So. Let's, let's get started. Let's get started with Rowan's Knitting and Crochet Magazine number 64, celebrating their Ruby anniversary, 40 years in business. Notice the nice uh, uh, rework of the logo in this Ruby Red, absolutely gorgeous logo, love it. Um, not sure, I don't think that's gonna stay. I think that's just a special one for this magazine. And it features the gorgeous uh, Zandra Rhodes design on the front. So let's have a look here. Magazine 64, 37 designs in total. Always introduces you on the, the uh, index page, what's new, regular features, stories, information on uh, list of the designers. So here we go, Ruby. And as it says here, there's a red for everyone in Rowan's special anniversary collection. So let's, I can't wait to dive in and have a look here. I'm going to leave you to read the Rowan introduction here because it's nice to hear their thoughts on uh, how they have grown and the great designers that they've worked with over the years. And let's just get right into the Ruby collection. The first design here, Claret, is by Lisa Richardson. It's done in Kid Classic. Using the palette of red and white really gives it a really crisp winter look. Hard to believe when you're sitting here in really hot weather, but winter will be here eventually. It's long. Is it a dress? It could be worn as a tunic. Uh, you could adjust the length, I guess, by taking a one repeat of that Fair Isle pattern. It's knit in pieces and sewn together. Carmine is a Martin Story design, also in Kid Classic. This garment is knit in pieces. There is a garter stitch and fringe edging, which is applied by picking up stitches on the cast on edge. When the body is sewn together, 
you pick up and knit the front collar band pieces with the fringe. So very interesting construction. Alizarin by Martin Story, done in brushed fleece. Look at the cables, absolutely gorgeous. It's knit in pieces, sewn together. The cuff and hem pieces are actually knit separately and attached, sewn on to attach them. Uh, absolutely gorgeous design and um, like I'm going to put a close-up here of the back because it's just beautiful. This looks like a wrap. It's called Falu and it is also done by Martin Story. It's knit in the pure wool superwash worsted. It looks like a wrap but it actually is a back and two front pieces uh, knit separately and seam together at the shoulder line. The fringe pieces are knit separately and incorporated into the body of the garment as it is knit. So this would stay on your shoulders really nicely. It's sort of like a, a Ruana design. These next two pieces are Folly and Cerise in Alpaca Soft DK by Arne and Carlos. The cowl, the Carice cowl, is done in the round. The styling on the Folly sweater is oversized boxy, a little bit cropped and with uh, the really short uh, sleeves because of the, the exaggerated drop shoulder on it. Love the, uh, the shades there. It's interesting how the side view and the straight on view look different, isn't it? I just noticed that now looking at, looking at it. Cornelian by Marie Wallen in Alpaca Soft DK. This is classic Marie combination of knit and crochet. So you, the, the body pieces are knit uh, from the back hem up and over to the front hem so that when you join the uh, underarm seams, you create the arms and the body is, is loosely over your shoulders. Then the crochet edging is applied to both the sleeve edges and the body edge. Garnet by Grace Jones is knit in kid silk haze and felted tweed. This uh, is an interesting combination. I love these two yarns together. And if you uh, saw the schematic of this, you would see it is um, an exaggerated box shape, plain rectangular shape, gathered in at the waist with the rib, and the sleeves are rather short because of the, um, of the extended drop shoulder. Cinnabar by Galena Carroll. This is done in cashmere uh, tweed, alpaca soft DK, and kid silk haze. You only need small amounts of kid silk haze for those little squares that you see that are highlighted there on the design. The rest of it is uh, the cashmere tweed and the alpaca soft DK done in, in an all over stranded pattern. It is knit in pieces. Uh, the sleeves are set in for um, a, a more refined fit. I love the pockets. That's, I think, one of my favorite designs. Easily, easily recolored because if you pick two, you know, two blues, two purples, two, well, two greens, and just use little highlights of uh, Kid Silk Haze to do the little squares to highlight. Rosewood is uh, another design by Grace Jones done in Kid Silk Haze. It mentions specifically that you must cast on and off loosely uh, to get those edges. 
There's a little knot stitch all over pattern on this uh, design that you don't really see in the photograph. It's worth having a really good look at. Here's the cover beauty, the Perinon. Perinon, not sure how to say this, Done in Kitzel Case by Xander Rhodes. It is, uh, it uses four shades of Kitzel Case. This is definitely um, an investment knit. You need 20 balls. It is one size only because it's knit in one piece. Wow, that's all I can say. Absolutely gorgeous. The Zebo here is by Cafe Facet. This is classic Cafe geometric uh, intarsia design. It's done in 10 shades of felted tweed and Rowan have provided two different colorways for you. So you have a choice with this, which is, I really like that idea of uh, when there's a colorful design like this to provide an alternate colorway. Magenta is by Lisa Richardson, and it is knit in Alpaca Soft DK. Lisa's done a lot of dress or tunic length uh, designs this season. Look at that all over pattern. It's knit in pieces and it has set in sleeves for a nice um, figure flattering fit. The Redwood design is by Sarah Hatton and it's also in Kid Classic. I had a really good look at this pattern because I was intrigued by the photographs. There are cable bands and on the sleeves, for example, you do the cable band and then you knit down to the cuff or you knit up to the raglan shaping. So, um, and I, I believe the, bo the body piece also has that. It starts off with the cable band and you knit up. So intriguing uh, styling of this. It's raglan, very flattering, love the high neck. And in Kid Classic, how cozy would that be? Rosso by uh, Sarah Hatton in Kid Silk Haze. Sarah's known for her gorgeous cardigans and this is uh, classic Sarah. I love it. It's done in uh, using the Kid Silk Haze doubled and there are beautiful little details here and there all over. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can tell that Brandon honed his knitting skills in the Cave Facet Studio. This is also so. Well, sometimes I have I have a hard time just discerning between a Cave design and a Brandon design. This one is felted tweed, valley tweed, kid silk haze. It's uh, <laughs> knit in pieces. It's for the Intarsia fans, or should I say Intarsia fanatics out there. It has four dots, meaning for the very experienced knitter. And I love the look of this. I saw a photograph of it uh, before. While I love the look of this, I am not an Intarsia person. Um, this just blows my mind, to be honest. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how many of you out there actually knit this, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Venetian, the, a design by Sharon Miller, is in Kitzel case. It uses two shades held together and uh, I think it's a pretty straightforward lace, all over lace pattern. Um, it's very nice here that Rowan provides written instructions for the lace pattern as well as a chart. Very unusual for Rowan and, and thank you for doing that. On the right is another Sharon Miller design. It is called Rust. It uses five shades of Kid Silk Haze 
and uh, you better like to cast on because you have to cast on over 500 stitches to start. Uh, the Kit Silk Haze on some rows is used singly and on other rows it's used doubled. So I'm intrigued to, I would love to swatch that design just to see what it's, what it's like. Vermilion by Sasha Kagan uses Kit Classic, Kit Silk Haze, Felted Tweed, Valley Tweed, and Cashmere Tweed. And the, um, you can see by, by, well, this, I had to have a really good look at this. It is crochet. It is, uh, the Kit Silk Haze is used doubled. You uh, cast on the, well, cast on, you, you uh, create the full length of the row and you, you you create the fringe as you go by leaving tails at the beginning and the end of the row. You never turn, you just start back at the beginning and crochet the next row over again. And this creates this gorgeous uh, wrap. Again, something else, I, I wish I had more time. I would love to have, um, I would love to swatch that. The maroon design is by Sasha Kagan also. Maroon is classic Sasha Kagan. It's done in Valley Tweed, Kid Silk Haze Held Doubled, Felted Tweed, and Alpaca Soft DK. The body is Felted Tweed, and the others are used for the, um, for the uh, intarsia, the small intarsia motifs all over. I love the pleated ruffled edge, absolutely gorgeous. And another one for the, uh, the intarsia fans, this is a more fine, delicate intarsia pattern. Uh, for you rather than the big geometrics of cave. Little article on the men of knitwear, Arn and Carlos. Do you watch their videos, uh, their YouTube channel? And then we get to the alpaca classic and let's have a look at that. The Alpaca Classic Story is a collection of 17 designs by Lisa Richardson, all worked in the new Alpaca Classic yarn. This first one, called Beacon, is an interesting construction. It is knit in pieces, um, back with set-in sleeves, but the, the two fronts are knit as one piece with, with sort of a built-in um, cowl attaching the two front pieces and you can see in the top left photograph I think uh, you can see how it's hanging down there I think they tucked it in very interesting construction it's knit in stocking stitch the Hensting design is a long pullover has set in sleeves knit in pieces uh, the body is ever so slightly shaped and it has the detail of the cable um, sections on the body, the sleeves, and the stand-up collar. Hukalpa is um, a wrap that uses a 12-row all-over lace pattern. Looks very uh, cozy there. Chota uses the same 12-row lace pattern as the Pucalpa shawl design. It is a long length cardigan. The sleeves are set in, it's knit in pieces and sewn up, and then the uh, front bands are picked up and finished. Marshwood uses uh, five different shades of the Alpaca Classic. It's knit in pieces and then seamed together. The uh, armholes are set in for a, a refined fit. This is an example of using Alpaca Classic in a stranded design, a colorful stranded design garment. Lightfoot. Now, this is for serious, serious uh, yardage knitters also. It takes 27 to 38 balls to complete this for the various sizes, and you must like doing bobbles. I can't. I can't imagine how many baubles are on there. This is a real attention grabbing garment. You want to, you're going to stand out wearing this. 
Uh, it has raglan shaping for a very comfortable fit. You can wear it over a top, a nice top with your favorite jeans or, or dress pants. I think this, this design could be dressed up or down. It's shown here with uh, jeans, but I think it would look great with, uh, with the dressier look too. Woodbine is a moss stitch scarf done in three shades. I like the combination of shades used here. Of course, you could uh, change them up to suit yourself. And uh, using moss stitch makes it a reversible scarf. This could be a simple project just for those times you want to sit down and knit and not have to think too much. You just have to remember to change the shades. The Abbott's wrap is an interesting construction. It's a big, long wrap. Um, the armhole placement is offset so that one side is shorter than the other and you, you can sort of flip that long side over, over your shoulder. It's also done in moss stitch so that both sides are reversible. Looks great here uh, done in three shades, but I can imagine this done just in one shade also just for a, a, a statement or one, one color with maybe just a big band on one side. All sorts of uh, possibilities with this. The Tarma shawl is all over lace design. You start at the long edge. This is a big cast on two 440 stitches and then it decreases down to the point. That's a great way to do it because you get the big long uh, rows over with at the beginning and because they're uh, getting smaller and smaller it keeps you going to get you through to the end. The Houghton cowl here uses the same bobble design as the, um, the light foot cardigan. So maybe if you want to try the bobbles but not commit to the, the huge cardigan, uh, this would be a design for you. It's knit flat and then it is twisted before it's joined together. A great way to check out a, a new yarn is to do a small project and these uh, butler fingerless gloves were perfect for that. You just need one skein and uh, they're knit in the round so you can, you can, with a minimal investment, you can check out this new yarn. The Popham sweater is constructed from cuff to cuff and it's, uh, the body is garter stitch with um, those intriguing cables running from the shoulder to the, the cuff, they are done in a stocking stitch um, sitting on top of the background of the garter stitch body. Looks quite intriguing, uh, interesting knit, don't you think? The same garter stitch background, uh, this time running horizontally on the Penny Bridge uh, sweater here uses that same large cable as a highlight right up the front. I like the stand-up collar on this and the uh, the long sleeves. Again, all garter stitch, so a really nice and cozy, casual uh, sweater for the fall and winter. The Mayfield wrap uses three shades of Alpaca Classic. Here it's done in three neutrals. It's um, the construction is flat and it is a slip stitch uh, pattern. The Juliaca cardigan has an all over uh, lacy pattern. It is knit in pieces and sewn up. You can see that it's uh, cropped length. You could easily make it longer. The sleeves are set in and uh, that gives a nice refined fit. The Teasdale scarf uses five shades of Alpaca Classic. The motifs are, um, the stranded motifs are uh, vary there. Some are really high contrast and others are very subtle. And uh, you knit this piece flat, seam it up the back, and then you seam the ends together so you end up with um, a double sided scarf. I suppose you could do it in the round if you wanted to. Faulberry, I have to tell you, this is one of my absolute favorites. It uses 10 shades of Alpaca Classic in the, a slip stitch pattern. Look at the colors, the, the, they're absolutely gorgeous. 
the styling of this, or the shaping of this, is um, a, a rectangular back, and the two front pieces meet at the center of the back piece. There is, there is no um, defined neckline shaping. So when you wear it, the, that sort of pulls the front of the sweater up and makes them, them, them come together at the bottom or maybe even cross over depending on your sizing. The sleeves are knit in one shade. In Magazine 64, Rowan introduces a brand new yarn. They don't usually do this. Usually uh, they might have a story about a brand new yarn and do a design collection separately in a brochure. But they've kicked off um, the introduction of Alpaca Classic with a collection of 17 designs by Lisa Richardson in, in Magazine 64. And 20 shades, 20 shades to introduce a new yarn. Look at them, aren't they gorgeous? Everything from the neutrals at the top and the uh, yellows and the blues and the greens and the reds and the purples and the pinks. My gosh, how, what a gorgeous collection of yarns. I asked Rowan to send me a few shades just to be able to show you the intensity of the, uh, the shades of these yarns. They're absolutely gorgeous. And so while I had these on hand, I made a couple of swatches. I did the traditional stocking stitch swatch. And uh, this yarn is absolutely gorgeous and soft. It's 57%, let me just get this right. It's 57% alpaca, which is blown into a cotton net. And so the cotton content is 43%. When you touch it, it it's, it's hard to describe. You see the little bit of a, a sheen? I'm thinking that's the cotton net and then the alpacas inside. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Of course, blue is my favorite color. So I used blue to do my swatches. The stocking stitch one, I, I uh, knitted up. I followed the uh, care instructions. I washed it gently, laid it flat to dry did not press it. I just tweaked it to make sure the edges were flat. I, before I washed it, I outlined it in my notebook so that when it was dry, I could check to see had it grown, had it shrunk, what had it done. Didn't do anything. Stayed exactly as it was when it came off the, the needles. If anything, it's softer and it's already to die for soft in the ball. Like, there's no alpaca scratchiness, there's no cotton, there's, there's no rub of cotton, there's no nothing. It's, it's like a powder puff. They're absolutely gorgeous. So the stocking stitch swatch came out beautifully. I thought, well, there's a couple of designs that use garter stitch, so I made a garter stitch swatch. The garter stitch is firm, but not hard. You know how garter stitch some kind can be... Can be um, rugged. I don't know how to describe it. Um, I haven't washed this one yet. So here are the two swatches I did with the Alpaca Classic. One in stocking stitch and one in garter stitch. I'll just get that out of there. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This one's the garter stitch the stocking stitch one has been washed, and I would say it's even softer than, uh, than, than it was just in the ball. So absolutely gorgeous yarn. The care instructions are easy. Hand wash, lay flat to dry, do not press. It does, they don't want you to press down and, and get rid of any of the loft on this because it's just, just beautiful the way it is. So actually, for hand wash yarn, it's uh, very easy care. And this dried in... I think about three hours it was dry in my air conditioning home, air conditioned home. So I don't know if that made a difference or not. It was just lying on a, one of those microfiber cloths in my laundry room. It's flat on the counter, no, not even with air circulating. So I love this and I can't wait to knit something uh, out of this new yarn. Well, I sort of like what I see here with this new yarn and I can't wait to. Uh, give it a try 
and make it uh, make a garment out of it and see how it uh, stands up. It looks gorgeous. I love the fact that Rowan's uh, committed with all of the new designs and with the 20 shades. And uh, I hope you uh, stop by your local yarn store and, and have a squish. You can't really tell a yarn until you've had a really good chance to squish it and hold it and feel it and rub it on your cheek and see what it feels like. So give it a go. Rowan Alpaca Classic. Try it. Daisy says, thanks for watching, and I'd like to thank all of you for your comments about her leg. It's getting much better. Thank you for uh, uh, sending me your best wishes for her. <laughs>